Right now, new developments on the teen suspected of the deadly school shooting in Michigan. The latest on the investigation. Plus, the new way for you to connect with Madison Police this morning. Lots of 50s in the forecast, but also several chances for snow in that forecast as well. We're going to break that all down coming up. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to News for Now this morning on a Thursday morning. It is December 2nd. I'm Josh Breider. And I'm Chris Stanford. Leah will be back on Monday. The alleged gunman in Tuesday's school shooting in Michigan has now been identified. The Oakland County prosecutor identifies him as 15-year-old Ethan Crumbly. He made his first appearance in court yesterday. The sheriff's office says the rampage began when the sophomore emerged from a bathroom with a semi-automatic gun and started firing at random. The suspect's father purchased that gun just four days before the shooting. We have recovered 30 spent shell casings at this point by processing the scene, meaning he fired more than 30 shots. The suspect says the teen suspect, or sheriff rather, says the teen suspect and his parents are refusing to cooperate with the investigation. Here are the charges brought against Crumley. One count of terrorism causing death, four counts of first degree murder, seven counts of assault with intent to murder, and 12 counts of possession of a firearm during a felony. He has pleaded not guilty and is being held without bond. We're learning another student has died from injuries during that school shooting. According to Oakland County officials, 17-year-old Justin Schilling passed away in an area hospital. His death raises that number to four people killed. Seven others were injured. The school district has closed all of its schools for the rest of the week as the community tries to deal with the tragedy. This morning, the Madison Police Department unveiling a new text messaging line. It's meant to help officers connect with the community. The service sends text messages to smartphone users who call 911 or MPD's non-emergency line. Messages are automatically generated and a victim acknowledgement message will be sent explaining any ongoing investigations. We recognize that the criminal justice system can be a little bit confusing and daunting, particularly to victims of crime. And so this is just another way to explain the next steps in the, in the, in the process. MPD is the first agency in Wisconsin to use the technology. Those who use the service will be able to provide feedback through a story. Messages will not be sent if callers or officers are in immediate danger, such as a domestic disturbance or 911 hangups. Breaking overnight, two police officers are in a Utah hospital this morning after a standoff turned violent in a suburb southeast of Salt Lake City. This morning, new video of the dramatic moment as the suspect exited the vehicle and opened fire. The initial standoff with the vehicle lasted hours. Authorities with the West Valley City Police Department say they were looking for a suspect involved in a rape and a robbery. There was an infant in the vehicle who escaped the situation uninjured. The officers were taken to the hospital with serious injuries and the status of that suspect remains unknown, but he was also transported to a hospital overnight. All right, 602 now. Let's check in with Chris Reese in Madison, certified most accurate forecast. Hey, Chris. Good morning. We have been tracking the radar since overnight. We saw some showers try to show up throughout southwestern parts of Wisconsin and then work their way towards the south. Keyword, I said try to show up. Towards the north, we have a front that is moving through that's going to continue to to usher in more of that colder air. Southern Wisconsin generally dry as of now. Anyone who may have even seen a shower earlier today, that would have been far southwestern Wisconsin. So anywhere from Lancaster through Platteville over towards Schulzburg, that's where your better chance to see a shower was. And if anything made it to the ground, I mean, it was a drop or two. We're talking real drizzle is what came on into the picture. Now we are at 49 in Madison at this moment. We started the show at 51. We've seen temperatures drop. That is because the cold front is working its way on through. Winds are out of the north and northwest. 52 in Janesville right now, but it's 45 just northwest of the Wisconsin River into the Dells. Once the sun comes up today, we'll see our temperatures actually begin to go back the other direction. So that's going to help things warm up to 50, but 50 is truly about as warm as we're going to get into this afternoon. 
Then, overnight tonight, we start to see our next system move through. That'll bring a chance for a couple of snowflakes, only about a dusting of snow, mainly to our north. Then it's that mix and rain the further south and west you are. This is not going to be a big deal at all. In fact, by 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, a lot of this is out of here. We'll see a mix of sun and clouds returning for the afternoon, and then temperatures should warm up into about the mid-40s for your highs tomorrow. With that, we start to transition to some cooler air getting into the mix. Saturday, we don't get out of the 30s. Sunday, we might make it to about 40. It all depends on what happens with the track of the storm system I'm tracking on Sunday. But then we get a lot colder into Monday and Tuesday, and these systems are the ones that at least have the chance to bring some snow around here. Here's that Sunday system. You see how it's generally to our north with perhaps some wraparound snows in the backside, but I'm paying real close attention. So what could come our direction Tuesday and into Wednesday? Right now, I'm going to be honest, there are more questions than answers. But we continue to pay attention to the trends. And it's not just Tuesday, but now it's also Friday, Saturday that I'm watching. So when we come back to weather about 10 minutes from now, we're going to take a closer look at Sunday, Tuesday, and I'll show you what the models are trying to show up for the end of next week. It's like every other day we got something happening. You know, December of 2008, it snowed in Madison 26 out of 31 days. Oh boy. It's not that. <laughs> Chris Reese, thank you. New body camera footage is shining light on the incident that got MSNBC banned from the courthouse and the Kyle Rittenhouse trial. The Kenosha Police Department releasing this body camera fo footage showing what led up to that ban. On November 17th, James Morrison was stopped by Kenosha police. They say he ran a red light while driving behind the bus transporting the jurors. Morrison said he was an employee with MSNBC and was instructed to follow the jurors. In a statement, though, NBC described Morrison as a freelancer and denied he intended to contact or photograph the jurors. 606 right now, the man in charge of running the legislature's investigation into the 2020 election is personally calling out Madison and Green Bay's mayors. Michael Gableman is accusing them in public testimony to the legislature of ignoring his subpoenas for more election information. Eric Genrick and Satya Rhodes Conway have chosen to ignore the subpoenas issued by the Wisconsin Assembly because they have no intention of answering uncomfortable questions about how they ran their elections and what they did with the millions of dollars Zuckerberg money they took. Madison Mayor Satya Rhodes Conway did have some pretty strong words for Gableman in return. She says Madison has overturned reams of documents and responded to numerous open records requests. Both mayors have said that they are willing to provide testimony at a public legislative committee. Road Conway went on to say that it's been clear all along that this is not a serious investigation. It's basically a temper tantrum by people who are upset with some of the results of the November 2020 election. Madison ran a safe, free, and fair election in the middle of the pandemic, and it's time to move on. Meantime, security experts say there is no proof of any significant voter fraud. 607 now. Thanksgiving may be behind us, but the giving season continues. And what better present than a new pet? McKenna Alexander here now with how to gift a furry friend this holiday without stepping on anyone's toes or paws. Hi, McKenna. Hi, guys. Well, the Dane County Humane Society employees tell us the best way to come Remember is to first make sure that family is actually looking to expand. Now this could be checking in with parents beforehand if you're planning on buying a pet for a child or giving pet supplies as the gift to hint at the surprise before bringing the family to the shelter to let them pick out the animal themselves. But if you do decide to give a pet on the holiday, Humane Society officials say there are a few different ways to do it. Or you could decorate a cute little carrier for them instead. Um, or a little cage. Maybe have one of the people hold the animal outside in the garage or something and bring it in and like that way they open an empty box and they're like, what? And be like, oh, here. Now, when it comes to returning pets, Bernard says the shelter is fortunate and that locally, not many animals are returned after the holidays have passed. And if you're in the market for a new dog, good news, the Humane Society is actually getting a transfer of a few dozen dogs today. You can find an updated list of all available animals on their website. I love the idea of giving the pet 
gifts as a little surprise yeah. <laughs> and then letting them go and pick out their own. Isn't that cool? Because then it can make it a little bit more personal for them too, right? Give yeah. them a whole experience. Yeah. McKenna Alexander, some uh, good advice this morning. A lot of folks out there, I'm sure, thinking about giving a pet this holiday. It's a great pet. Thanks, yeah. guys. 609 now coming up. Some breaking news from overnight. Major League Baseball removing all information about active players on MLB.com. We'll explain why. Plus, small acts of kindness making a big impact. What a local cleaning business in the 608 is doing to help families facing cancer. Black Friday mattress deals have been extended for one final week at Ashley Home Store. It's your last chance to save up to 65% off top brands and get $1,100 in instant savings on select mattresses. Plus, pay no interest financing for up to five years on luxury brands. Only at Ashley Home Store. The holidays are doubly important this year. So make your celebrations doubly special with our award-winning cave-aged Murray's Cheese. Pick and save. Fresh Hey, you're right, we can't stop now. Let's take the special up a level with fresh, never frozen prime beef. Still not special enough? Add some surf to that turf with our sustainably caught seafood. Turn your taste buds up to 11 and have a doubly special holiday with Pick and Save, fresh for everyone. Happy holidays from Meineke Car Care Center. We would like to thank you for your business this year and wish you and your family a safe and happy holiday season. Drive safe during all of your travels. Meineke, doing car care right. You've heard that an apple a day keeps the doctor away, but you still need to see your dentist because getting good dental care is important to your overall health. You know dental bills can take a big bite out of your budget, especially if you're retired or on Medicare. Even a simple cleaning can cost $200 and other procedures like crowns and root canals can cost hundreds, even thousands more. But affordable dental insurance from Physicians Mutual Insurance Company can help. Give us a call or go online for this free information kit with all the details. This isn't just a discount plan. This is real dental insurance that can help pay for over 350 covered procedures like cleanings, fillings, crowns, even dentures. There are no deductibles, no annual maximum, and you can see any dentist you like. So don't wait. Call now or go online for your free information kit from Physicians Mutual. Physicians Mutual, Physicians Mutual. Big news for heartburn sufferers. Introducing Zantac 360 Degrees with a new formula that has the number one doctor-recommended medicine approved to both prevent and relieve heartburn. It works in as little as 15 minutes and lasts. New Zantac 360. than the car you drive. We protect the dreams that drive you. The it's not where we visit, but who we visit policy from American Family Insurance. Into the road trip. Protect yourself on the road with a travel peace of mind package included when you enroll in the Know Your Drive program. Get a quote or find an agent at amfam.com. Black Friday deals have been extended for one final week at Ashley Home Store. It's your last chance to save up to 65% off doorbusters and special deals on our hottest looks store-wide. Plus, no interest financing for five years. Only at Ashley Home Store. You're watching News 3 Now This Morning. Winner of the National Edward R. Murrow Award for Overall Excellence in Television. Just about 6.13 this morning, the Bucks are starting off December by extending their win streak to eight against the Hornets. Well, former uh, All-NBA center DeMarcus Cousins made his debut in the Bucks uh, for the Bucks last night. And uh, the game, an absolute battle. LaMelo Ball tying it with a three late. Giannis, though, capped it off with a game-winning layup. Giannis finished with a 40-point performance. Not too bad. The Badgers men's basketball team being tested early this year. The Badgers taking on Georgia Tech last night in Atlanta. The Yellow Jackets were the ACC tournament champions last season. That didn't stop Brad Davison from scoring 10 straight points for the Badgers. Georgia Tech kept it close all the way to the end, but the Badgers were too good. They're coming home with a 70 to 66 victory. Next up, of course, in-state rival Marquette at the Cole Center on Saturday morning at 11.30. For the first time in 26 years, Major League Baseball is officially in a lockout. The collective bargaining agreement between the league and the Players Association expired at midnight. This is the ninth workplace stoppage in the sports history. According to ESPN, 
This is all over the economics of baseball. Players are also looking to expand the playoffs to at least 12 teams. Overnight, the MLB removed all articles and information about active players from its website. Before that lockout started, the Brewers finally made a splash in the offseason additions. The Brewers are trading Jackie Bradley Jr. and prospects to the Boston Red Sox for outfielder Hunter Renfro. Renfro had his best season and his only season in Boston, hitting 31 home runs and 96 RBIs. The move will help fill the void Avisal Bar Garcia has left in the offense for the Brewers. And it's a uh, Wisconsin MVP birthday week. Christian Yelich, Aaron Rodgers, Giannis Antetokounmpo, all celebrating birthdays. All in this week? Yeah. Wow. That's Aaron cool. Rodgers' birthday today. Wow. 38 years old. Well, I'll happy birthday, that. Aaron. There you go. If you happen to watch a Madison news station <laughs> and see this right now. We're talking about some of the snow chances into the weekend, guys. And I want to take a moment to share with you all the models that I've been paying attention to as we've done all week long. So that being said, I wanna start you with one of our newer models. We are now within range that you're able to get the short range models to pick up on things, and they're typically higher resolution. So they try to give you at least a little bit more of an accurate picture. But I'll also admit, I'm not 100% sure I agree with what this one's showing for us. So. For our Sunday system, this one starts out with some light snow further to our north, but by Sunday afternoon, that moisture fills in for most of the state, and it actually brings some light snow into parts of Madison all the way down to the state line. The reality is, Mm, I, I'm buying the northerly trend at this point. Now, this is as far out as this model goes, but our other models that we've been watching for the past couple of days, they've been on a particular trend, and they've been consistent for about the past 36 hours. That trend is that the snow stays well to our north. Uh, cold front brings some showers through here, and then we see wraparound snows on the backside into Monday with that colder air setting the stage for some accumulating snow possible on Tuesday, perhaps even more snow starting to work its way in here into Thursday as well. Then you have our other model. It really kind of agrees with that same idea of a cold front wrap around snow showers, and then that sets the stage for a bigger system on Tuesday. This one even wants to follow it up with more systems, perhaps Thursday into Friday, and then again on Saturday. It's something to keep an eye on, but for our Sunday system, start developing a game plan for rain, and snow and then when it comes to our Tuesday snow threat at this point yep we're going to keep things into the first warn stage we're also watching traffic out there this morning we haven't seen any big issues guys so let's keep it easy on your Thursday we love to see it Chris Reese yes we do thank you Time to slow things down this morning and see what's happening in the 608. There's a local cleaning company offering up their services in the hopes of helping those going through some of the toughest days of their lives. Primavera Cleaning is proud to partner with Cleaning for a Reason, a nationwide nonprofit providing free home cleaning to patients battling cancer. When cancer makes life at home difficult, their network of residential cleaners, cleaning industry volunteers, and community volunteers come together to support cancer patients and their families. For Primavera's co-owner, Chrissia Hag, whose family and friends have been touched by cancer, this initiative has extra special meaning. It makes a huge difference on the families that are affected by cancer. Um, they reach out to us, they express their gratitude, and I just I know that it really is helping them and their families so they can focus more on like what's important, which is quality time with their loved ones and their health. Since their founding in 2006, Cleaning for a Reason and its partners have provided free home cleaning for more than 43,000 cancer patients and their families across all 50 states and Canada. These services get this valued at more than $14.1 million. To learn more about the initiative, you can go to channel3000.com. Oh, what a great effort. That's so hard. You know, so many of us have been touched by cancer. And we know how hard it is you know, when uh, those things, like keeping your house clean, yeah. kind of fall by the wayside because you've got more important stuff to worry about. It's a simple thing, right? But it's a huge act of kindness. And I think that's the thing is, like, anything can make a difference during some of the toughest days of your life. Yeah, absolutely. Great program. Yeah. Remember to let me know what inspires you here in the 608. You can reach out either on social media or email at in the 608 at WICTV.com for a chance to be featured. FedEx and the Wisconsin Christmas Tree Producers Association are making a difference for veterans. The groups are loading up a FedEx truck filled with trees outside of Lambeau Field. 
It's part of their Trees for Troops program. The program provides free farm-grown Christmas trees to veterans and their families in all branches of the military through donations, sponsorships, grants, and volunteer work. These particular trees are going to go to families in Minnesota and South Dakota. Our nation's military families sacrifice so much uh, for our freedom. So this is just a small token appreciation that, that we can do to say thanks. This year, FedEx Freight says it'll deliver more than 14,000 trees to military families stationed at 77 bases nationwide. Since 2005, Trees for Troops has delivered over 262,000 trees. Three, two, one, Michael! Yay! Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree. <laughs> that, a good looking course, tree. It really is. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and honorary tree lighter, fifth grader Michael Mavris throwing the switch to light the Capitol Christmas tree last night. It is a white fir from the Six Rivers National Forest in Crescent City, California. The fir is decorated with thousands of ornaments handcrafted by Californians to reflect this year's theme, Six Rivers, Many Peoples, One Tree. I like the tall and skinny trees. Yeah. It's a, it's a good look. It is, man, it is just filled. Could you put any more lights on that tree? I love it. Especially right next to the Capitol. It doesn't get any cool, more picturesque that is a cool than that, shot. right? Cool shot. Coming up, an interesting new way to pay for parking tickets. We'll be right back <laughs> with more News 3 Now this morning. With a nursing degree, helping others went from a job to a career. Cobison Buses, now hiring. After we backed that bus out of its stall and started driving, I just loved it. We really get a chance to get to know each other. Almost everyone has a different story about how they came to bus driving. So you really end up feeling like you're part of a family. Visit cobison.com to apply. I was doing some shopping and got a pop-up on my laptop. Computer had a virus. So I called the number on the page and the guy on the phone wants to take control of my screen to sort it out. Then I remember a tip I got from the AARP Fraud Watch Network. Control my screen. This is a tech support scam. Thankfully, my order still went through. <laughs> Recognize fraud sooner so your money lives longer. The younger you are, the more you need AARP. It's my 310, no accident sight, migraine medicine. It's Ubrelby. For any time, anywhere migraine strikes without worrying if it's too late or where I am. One dose can quickly stop my migraine in its tracks within two hours. Unlike older medicines, Ubrelby is a pill that directly blocks CGRP protein, believed to be a cause of migraine. Do not take with strong CYP3A4 inhibitors. Most common side effects were nausea and tiredness. Ask about Ubrelby, the anytime, anywhere migraine medicine. Over the these past months, we've all experienced changes and a great deal of reflection. But here's a change you can truly be excited about. Sonobello, America's number one cosmetic surgery specialist, permanently removes the fat from your stomach, hips and thighs, and back. I walked past mirrors. I didn't want to see any of that. I can't even tell you how excited I am about Sonobello and what they've done for me. I'm just living my best life now because I'm being the best that I can be. Sonobello's board-certified surgeons use micro-laser technology to safely target and remove your diet-resistant fat cells permanently. Schedule your free, no-obligation consultation. Plus, get $250 off instantly. You deserve to do something for you. Call 1-888-512-1753 or go to sonobello.com now. This holiday season, give $50 or more to charity and receive $400 off stressless Mayfair recliners and office chairs. $200 off any stressless recliner and office chair. And $200 off each stressless sofa seat. Don't wait. It's time for stressless. Shop stresslessfurniture.com today. Cobison Buses, now hiring. Working with Cobison, it's definitely been great because of the flexibility. If you do need time off, they work around you. They, they definitely try to make it a company that's based for you. Visit cobison.com to apply. Welcome back, 623 on a Thursday morning. Look at Gwen's photo. Now we want to make sure you're informed here on News 3 Now this morning and last hour we, uh, we informed you all. I uh, gave you a little lesson on the clouds. 
in this So picture. what kind of clouds are they? This is a quiz for you now. Let's see if I remembered things from 60 minutes ago. Uh, alto cumulus. Alto meaning very high up in the atmosphere and cumulus meaning puffy. Mm -hmm. So you have a, a high layer of puffy, puffy clouds. <laughs> now, for the extra credit students out there, you might say alto stratocumulus because oh. stratus means a layer. And so we have a layer in the stratosphere. of high up cumulus clouds. Very cool. Gwen, thanks for this photo. Your clouds made us talk this morning about it. <laughs> we appreciate it. Uh, use the hashtag MyNews3Morning when you post on social media so we can find it and share our favorites. News you can use right here. We want to make sure now. you learn something yeah. here on the program, you know? Weather's well, really fun to learn about. I'm not biased at all, but <laughs> weather is yeah. it's very fun to learn about. Nerd alert. <laughs> okay, here's something cool. Uh, it's, uh, parking tickets at New Mexico State University are really cheap to pay off. You could even pay with peanut butter these days. I love peanut butter. So for this week only, the school's letting studi students donate several jars of peanut butter in lieu of paying those tickets. If you get a no current permit ticket, you can either shell out the dough for the fine or spread the love by dropping off at least 80 ounces of peanut butter to the university's parking office or local pantry. Depending on the violation, it could be a really sweet deal. Parking tickets can run around $35, and 80 ounces of peanut butter might only set you back about 14 bucks or so. See, if they had this at UWSP when I was going to school, I would have had a couple of cases of peanut butter <laughs> hanging out in my trunk. But everyone, I got a ticket now and then because, you know, living off campus the past couple, uh, the last couple of years of school, always running late. You know, you push it, you, you run your chances of parking in a lot when you don't have the permit. Now, now I just picture a young Stanford walking across campus and he's got a bag of peanut butter on his back. <laughs> <laughs> there he goes. Got to pay off those tickets. Hey, it comes in handy if you get hungry, too. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, I can snack. just eat it by the spoon. Oh, oh, right. too. That's, that's my bedtime oh, snack yum. half the time. It's dangerous. Right. It really if is. If you are getting ready to head out to school this morning, I hate to cut you off. I could talk about it, but we got to get to the bus stop <laughs> forecast. Uh, temperatures are really hanging out in the 40s today will warm back up to about 50, but then temperatures continue to drop. We have a chance of a little wintry mix overnight. We'll talk about it when we come back. News 3 Now First Born Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. It's Humane Holidays at Mounds. During December, purchase items off of the Humane Holidays wish lists to support Rock County's Friends of Noah Cafe program and the Dane County Humane Society. The Cafe program provides free dog and cat food to local families who can't afford to feed their own pets. Humane Holidays not only provides Dane County Humane Society with vital wish list items, it truly makes the shelter feel more like home for the holidays. Support Humane Holidays at Mounds because everyone deserves a great holiday. We love our new home. Lots of windows, great light. But the birds... They're back. Yes, I hear them. Uh-oh. Why are these birds so angry? At least Geico makes bundling our home and car insurance easy. We save a lot. I'm going, I'm going. Hurry, hurry. I know, I know. For I know. bundling made easy, go to geico.com. Are you okay? Oh, it's just a cold. If you have high blood pressure, a cold is not just a cold. Unlike other cold medicines, Coracetin provides powerful cold relief without raising your blood pressure. Be there for life's best moments with Coracetin, now in sugar-free liquid. That's not bacon. It's sausage. Whoa. Behold, Johnsonville Sausage Strips. Sausage that looks and cooks like bacon. It's a meaty miracle. Find them in the bacon section. Even though they're sausage. This year, don't just get ready, get holiday ready. And the only place to start is at your local Ford dealer. Get the Ford SUV that's perfect for your family's holiday traditions. Ford Explorer, Escape, or Bronco Sport with our best offers of the season. Inventory is arriving daily, so see your Ford dealer today and get holiday ready. Now get a Ford Explorer with 0% financing for 60 months plus 500 bonus cash. Only at your local Ford dealer.
complete the season together with a holiday gift from Pandora Jewelry. Stanley Steamer loves Madison, Wisconsin. I'm Paul Ashick, local owner of Stanley Steamer here in Madison. We've been proudly cleaning your homes and businesses for over 30 years and will continue to keep your carpet, upholstery, area rugs, hard floors, and air ducts clean for many more. We strive to provide the best quality in both the services we provide and the equipment we use. That's why you've trusted us to keep Madison and southwestern Wisconsin homes cleaner, healthier, and more beautiful place to live. Call and book a cleaning today. Stanley Steamer, it's your home cleaner. Right now, scientists have found the first strain of the Omicron variant in the U.S. Why doctors are urging caution. Plus, flags will be flown at half staff again today across Wisconsin. We'll tell you who the governor is honoring. Temperatures near 50, but a cold front is on the way. We're going to talk about when we at least could see some wintry weather. Good morning, everyone. 630 on a Thursday morning. Welcome to News for Now this morning. I'm Josh Breider. And I'm Chris Stanford. Leah will be back with us on Monday. Well, a fully vaccinated person from California who recently traveled to South America has tested positive for the Omicron strain. Doctors say the person is only experiencing mild symptoms and is quickly improving. Scientists in the U.S. are urging people not to panic, citing the predicted arrival as only a cause for concern. We knew that it was just a matter of time before the first case of Omicron would be detected in the United States. This map shows where the new variant has been found so far. The CDC says it is stepping up its virus surveillance efforts at airports. The patient in California is self-quarantining. That patient knew they were positive with COVID by Monday afternoon after taking a PCR test Sunday. They quickly became concerned because of their recent trip to South Africa and then reached out to the San Francisco Department of Public Health themselves. Once the UCSF scientists had that sample, they detected Omicron within hours just before midnight Monday. We were able to identify the variant within hours uh, because it has a very specific pattern of mutation. Doctors say this is likely not the only case of Omicron in the country, just the only detected case so far. Top of the health officials recommend to avoid panicking, and the best way to pre be prepared for this new variant is to get your booster shot. Many local pharmacies in Wisconsin are running low on doses this morning. Appointments are booking weeks out for that third shot. That includes the Dane County vaccination site at Alliant. They've been vaccinated more than 200 people a day and are booking out two weeks right now. As to some health doctors suggest while you wait for that shot, there are a few more things you can do to make sure everyone is protected this winter. What I would suggest that we do in Dane County would be to continue to get people vaccinated who are not vaccinated. Um, also, uh, which will include our children, make sure that we get our flu shots for this uh, coming uh, flu season. For more information on the boosters and where you can look for those appointments, just go to the Channel 3000 mobile app. President Biden today is expected to extend his transportation mask mandate through March. The mandate requires travelers to wear masks on airplanes, buses, trains, and boats, and at airports and other transportation hubs. Governor Ever is ordering flags to be flown at half staff this morning. It's in honor of eight-year-old Jackson Sparks. Sparks was one of the six victims who died from injuries suffered during the Waukesha Christmas Parade. His funeral is this afternoon in McQuantico. On Capitol Hill yesterday, Wisconsin's two U.S. Senators, Tammy Baldwin and Ron Johnson, both giving similar speeches on the floor to honor the parade victims. Both senators also requested a moment of silence for lawmakers. For the first time, the Waukesha Parade suspect's mom is publicly addressing what happened. Darrell Brooks Jr. is accused of killing six people in the parade crash, injuring dozens of others. In that letter, Don Woods says their family offers their condolences to all the victims and their families. She goes on to say Brooks did not come from a bad family, but instead has struggled with his mental health since he was young. She says when he became an adult, he no longer had the insurance or financial means to continue his medication and counseling, leading to multiple run-ins with the law. Brooks has a decades-long criminal record, including arrests for sexual abuse, drugs, battery, and domestic abuse, and has been in and out of jail. We are also getting an update from Children's Wisconsin Hospital. It says two more patients have been discharged. Five children do remain there. Four are in fair condition, and one is in serious condition. 6.33 right now to your certified most accurate forecast on a Thursday morning. Meteorologist Chris Reese keeping an eye on those temperatures, and wow, we're, we're quite balmy. 
Warm temperatures all throughout the state of Wisconsin this morning, guys. That's what we're waking up to. Temperatures range anywhere from 38 to 51. It all just depends on where you are. Now, we have snow on the ground throughout parts of northern Wisconsin, but the warmer temperatures, well, I'm sure they're going to eat into that snowpack just a bit for now before we start to cool things down. But in the meantime, 12 degrees warmer the 24 hours ago in Rhinelander. Same for Milwaukee and Green Bay. Madison, the winter, 13 degrees warmer than 24 hours ago. That's where it was 36. We're at 49 right now, and we've actually seen our temperature come down a bit. We were at 51 about an hour and a half ago. So now we're at 49. Winds are out of the west and northwest at 7. These are temperatures over the next 12 hours. We will see them fall into the mid 40s. Maybe even some lower 40s begin to show up. But as the sun begins to rise, temperatures begin to climb as well. We should ultimately top out at 50 for your high later on this afternoon. So our official high for today will go down as 52 because that's where the temperature was at midnight. We'll be at 50 for your warm part of the afternoon. Doppler track quiet for us now. We did see some showers try to show up across parts of southwest Wisconsin. It ran into a lot of dry air though, so most of that evaporated before it made it down to the ground. Overnight tonight, we'll see another chance for wintry weather starting to move our way. This is one o'clock. You see some flurries starting to move into the picture. By four o'clock in the morning, you have a period of some light snow that comes down, especially north and east. Once again, we're going to battle out some drier air, but I do believe more of this has a better chance to actually make it towards the ground. The further south and west you are, the better chance this is just flurries. By 630, watch how things begin to wrap out of here, and then we'll warm up towards 44 for your high into the afternoon, and then we are down to the 30s and 20s by tomorrow night. So this is a low-end snow chance that we do have for tomorrow morning. By Sunday, we're watching that next system. Right now, it's a lower-end snow no chance, perhaps light snow to an impactful snow though, as we start to move into early next week. It's something that we're paying a very close attention to. You see those wraparound snow showers into Monday, but this is what shows up towards Tuesday and that could linger for us into your Wednesday. We're going to pay close attention to it, as I love to say, because we need to do that. Multiple snow chances, not just Tuesday into Wednesday of next week, but again, perhaps Friday and then Saturday. All right, Chris Reese, thank you. Right now, the Dodge County Sheriff's Office is investigating three separate burglaries that happened recently. Officials say the incidents occurred in Climbin on County DJ, in Hustisford on Hillcrest Road, and in Oak Grove on Highway 33. It's not yet known if those crimes are connected. A younger male with facial hair is a person of interest in one of the incidents. Police are also searching for a mid-2000s white or light-colored Chevy Impala. You're asked to stay alert for any suspicious activity and keep your doors locked. To some down-down development news now, project leaders doing some reconstruction to St. John's Lutheran Church, just three blocks of the state capitol, are hoping to tear it down. Last night, they shared their concept with city leaders, and that is to build a 10-story building to house the church on the first floor and then affordable housing on the remaining floors. That would be more than 100 apartment units. I think it's important to highlight that this is not just a multifamily project with some low income units, but really uh, the goal for this development is uh, to maximize the amount and availability of affordable housing. Now, since the proposal exceeds downtown's eight story limit by two floors, the plan will need special approval from the Madison Common Council. Now that it's December, holiday season is in full swing, which means holiday shopping is on top of mind for a lot of folks out there. Yeah, and if you're thinking of giving a four-legged friend this year, McKenna Alexander is here with what you need to know this morning. Good morning, McKenna. Good morning. Well, whether it's a cat, dog, rabbit, bird, you name it, Dane County Humane Society officials tell us the best thing to do before you give a pet is first, make sure the family wants one. Because personalities of animals can vary, it's important to make sure a pet meshes well with a family. So sometimes the best gift is allowing a household the space to really find their best fit. Maybe make it more of an experience where you gift them the supplies for that pet and then bring them to DCHS so they can come and pick out their pet. 
If you want to give the pet on the actual holiday, though, Bernard suggests letting parents know ahead of time and making sure to get a good idea on what kind of pet they want, as well as making sure they understand the level of commitment a new animal can bring. Now, when it comes to pet returns, Bernard says Dane County Humane Society actually sees very few. So most of the time, those Christmas morning puppies stick around to become year-round gifts. Well, that's great because you don't want to have to return the sweet little guy or gal, do you? All right, McKenna Alexander, thank you very much. 639 now outside. Follow me. It was 51 degrees when we came into work this morning. 51. Oh, it feels good. And our temperatures are dropping a little bit. The big news, though, is a change in the track on Sunday's snowstorm. We'll have the latest for you coming up. And we'll tell you who's seen the most monarch butterflies in years. Also ahead, we're in the 608 this morning with how a local cleaning company is giving back. One of our biggest sales of the year ends soon. Get huge savings on already low prices, up to 50% off. Plus, see what's new, what's in stock, and save 25% on our great accessories. Hurry and soon. Days can be oh so stressful. So give the gift of wellness. Buy $100 in Massage Envy gift cards and receive a free $20 promo card. Keep your body working. RHD Plumbing presents their Title Town Winter Getaway Contest. Win a two-night stay in Green Bay's Title Town, including food, drink, and entertainment gift cards. Visit the contest page on channel3000.com and enter today. There's been much debate about the Mona Lisa smile. Would it have been bigger and brighter if she'd had good dental care? Maybe if Physicians Mutual Insurance Company had been around back then, it'd be a different story. She could have gone to the dentist more, knowing she'd have help paying the bills. And those regular checkups might have found early signs of tooth decay or gum disease, costly problems that could keep anyone from smiling. Physicians Mutual offers affordable coverage that can help pay for cleanings and unexpected or expensive procedures you might need, like crowns or dentures. This is real dental insurance, not just a discount plan or for checkups only. There are no deductibles and there's no annual maximum. Plus, you can see any dentist you want. Call or go online today for a free information kit from Physicians Mutual. Get the dental care you need to help you stay healthy. For your free information kit with all the details, call us now or go to sendinfokit.com. Big news for heartburn sufferers. Introducing Zantac 360 Degrees with a new formula that has the number one doctor-recommended medicine approved to both prevent and relieve heartburn. It works in as little as 15 minutes and lasts. New Zantac 360. On the next Live Before, it's your chance to get advice from a veterinarian for free. Dr. Carrie Donahue from Full Circle Holistic Veterinary Care will be here to take your pet medical questions live. One of our biggest sales of the year ends soon. The Thanksgiving sale at Slumberland Furniture. Get huge savings on already low prices, up to 50% off. Plus, save big on mattresses, like the Sealy Queen mattress, just $2.99. Where have all the truck drivers gone? There's not a trucking company that doesn't have a sign out help one. Mark Kane takes you inside a local diesel driving school to find out what's causing the driver shortage and what's being done to get them back on the road. Tonight on News 3 Now at 6. Live from Goodman Community Center. And on a screen near you. It's Geo's Garden Holiday Party. Join us December 10th for fun and fundraising. All to benefit area families of kids with special needs. For tickets and details, visit geosgarden.org. My name's Danny. Plan my day. Oh, well, hello, Danny. Good morning. It's someone ordered up a sunrise. It's what Mother Nature is serving for breakfast this morning. Another beautiful one out there. We're going to warm temperatures up into the 50s again this afternoon. We were at the 50s earlier, but I've seen our temperatures fall into the 40s at this point. Doppler track quiet. Some showers tried to show up throughout southwestern Wisconsin early. Those have since moved on out of the picture. So 49, that's where we stand right now. And over the next 12 hours, temperatures kind of bounce around a bit ultimately topping out at 50 by about 2 o'clock into our afternoon. No snow chances as
says so now we're going to be dry, although there is a little chance for a brief wintry mix during the overnight period Thursday and Friday. I'm still watching Sunday and then some bigger snow chances try to arrive by the time we get towards next week. And those come with colder temperatures as well. We're going to be in the 20s perhaps for Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, and then ultimately staying south of 40 for each day as we go throughout next week. Danny sent an incredible and adorable video. Send in yours. Do that to tip to channel3000.com. Put plan my day in the subject line. And we'll do that right here on News 3 Now this morning. One of our favorite parts of the morning, Chris. Yes, it is. All right, thank you. Members of the January 6th Select Committee have unanimously approved the report to hold former Department of Justice official Jeffrey Clark in contempt of Congress. For refusal to comply with a subpoena duly issued by the Select Committee to investigate the January 6th attack on the United States Capitol. Chairman, aye. Clark defied his subpoena by refusing to answer questions during a recent deposition and by failing to hand over subpoena documents to the panel. He's been given the opportunity to appear for a deposition on Saturday, but if he does not comply, it sets up the House to hold a vote to formally find him in contempt. Alec Baldwin just gave his first one-on-one -on -one interview since the deadly shooting on the set of the movie Rust. Here's part of that conversation with ABC's George Stephanopoulos. So you never pulled the trigger? No, 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 no. I, I would never point a gun at anyone and pull a trigger at them, never. Baldwin saying there that he never pulled the trigger of the gun that shot and killed the director of photography on the film. He says he doesn't know how the real bullet got on set. 645 right now, time to slow things down and see what's happening in the 608 this morning. There's a local cleaning company cleaning for a reason and helping families touched by cancer. We recently had the chance to catch up with Primavera Cleaning in the town of Dane. They're proud to partner with the nationwide nonprofit Cleaning for a Reason and providing free home cleaning to patients battling cancer. The local cleaning company sends one to two of their own folks into the homes of those impacted by cancer, offering up their services and whatever they would like cleaned. Primavera co-owner Chrissia Hag wants more families in the 608 to know that this is available here locally and that extra support is out there. I've personally been impacted by cancer and so um, it just touches my heart and I just want to be able to help them and so it's not like it's this one big story that's made a difference. They all kind of make a difference and just we're really honored to be able to help serve them. So here's how you can help this morning. Primavera's goal is to raise another $5,000 by the end of the year to go to this initiative. I put links up on channel3000.com with more information. And to put this into perspective here, Cleaning for a Reason was founded back in 2006. Mm -hmm. So far, the nonprofit has been able to give about $14.1 million in services. Wow. So that's made a positive impact on 43,000 cancer patients and no their way. families across all 50 states. That's a huge and impact. Canada. They yeah. can't do it, though, without those donations, right? That's the thing. That's how they go about all of this. You know, they're a nonprofit, so that donations or those donations go right towards that. So they are able to send in their folks to be able to clean these homes for free. It's a pretty cool deal. What a way to give back. It really is. And I think it goes back to those small gestures can really make a big impact. It doesn't take a lot. You know, we talk about even a simple smile sometimes can make someone's day. So you love to see it. We really do. Especially during the holidays. Yes, it's that time of the year. It's the giving season, right? It is. All right. So remember to let me know what inspires you here in the 608. You can reach out either on social media or email us at in the 608 at WICTV.com for a chance to be featured. All right. Let's talk about butterflies, Woo! shall we? Uh, it's been a couple of months since monarchs left Wisconsin in need of some warmer weather. And scientists in California California have some good news as the butterflies start to arrive there. Around 100,000 monarch butterflies were estimated to make up the whole western population this year. Researchers say that's the most butterflies they've seen in five years. One sanctuary in California has counted close to 12,000 just on their property. Last year we had zero, this year we have 12,000. What next year is going to hold, that's going to be a surprise. Climate change, pesticides, and habitat loss have had a devastating impact on North American monarchs. Isn't that crazy to just see how much of a year can make a difference? You know, from zero to 12,000. That's wild. That's a lot. And how do they count them all? How do they know there are 10,000? Is that someone's job? Just to go out there. Certified and butterfly them. counter. <laughs> You're gonna have one of those people on speed dial, I guess. Oh my goodness, pretty cool, cool to stuff. see. Yeah, it really, really is. Cool. 648 right now, ahead in the morning sprint and emergency landing at the Dane County Airport. We'll tell you what led to the planes rerouting. First, if you got a little kid turning three soon, we'd love to help them celebrate by showing their picture on TV. We'll be right back. 
Look Who's 3 is sponsored by Three Bears Resort, indoor water park and conference center in Warrens, Wisconsin. Hey, guys. Hey, Dad. You ready? This holiday, U.S. Cellular is doing a little something extra to keep everyone connected. Right now, choose any phone from any brand at any of our stores for free. Plus, save big with unlimited data for our best price of the season, just $30 a month. Now that's a deal to cheer about. Feel the locally grown joy from U.S. Cellular, America's locally grown wireless. When searching for your dream home, it's important to figure out what style of home you like. Victorian, cottage, Tudor. It's also important to protect your home and all the dreams that come with it. When looking for your dream home, keep in mind good things come in pairs, like dual sinks, Jonathan and me, and pairing your home and auto insurance, which can get you one step closer to achieving your dream. Pretty sure people call it bundling. Bundle your home and auto insurance and save up to 28%. Insure carefully, dream fearlessly. American Family Insurance. Isn't it great how swinging through Culver's drive through marks the unofficial start to family time? How biting into a hot off the grill butter burger makes worries melt away. And how a fresh frozen custard concrete mixer puts a smile on your face every time. Here, a meal you didn't have to make is a meal made fresh for you. And being greeted with a smile, even beneath a mask, makes all the difference. There's a reason we put so much care into our food. That reason is you. Welcome to Delicious. If a nurse is what you want to be, let Herzing University make it possible in lots of different ways. Whether you're planning to become a nurse for the first time or take your nursing career to the next level, Herzing offers learning options and a choice of nursing pathways, all with personal care and support. We'll even waive your enrollment fee. Be exactly the nurse you want to be. I'm possible at Herzing. I'm possible at Herzing. I'm possible at Herzing. I'm possible at Herzing. Call or click today. This year, don't just get ready, get holiday ready. And the only place to start is at your local Ford dealer. Get the Ford SUV that's perfect for your family's holiday traditions. Ford Explorer, Escape, or Bronco Sport with our best offers of the season. Inventory is arriving daily, so see your Ford dealer today and get holiday ready. Now get a Ford Explorer with 0% financing for 60 months plus 500 bonus cash. Only at your local Ford dealer. This holiday season, give $50 or more to charity and receive $400 off stressless Mayfair recliners and office chairs. $200 off any stressless recliner and office chair. And $200 off each stressless sofa seat. Don't wait, it's time for stressless. Shop stresslessfurniture.com today. Gruber Law Offices. One call, that's all. Morning, winner of the National Edward R. Murrow. You're watching News 3 Now this morning. Winner of the National Edward R. Murrow Award for overall excellence in television. 6.52, time for the morning sprint. The head of the investigation into Wisconsin's 2020 election is personally calling out Madison and Green Bay's mayors, Michael Gableman, accusing them in public testimony to the legislature of ignoring his subpoenas for more election information. Mayor Satya Rhodes Conway had some strong words for him in return, saying Madison overturned or turned over reams of documents and responded to numerous open records requests. Both mayors have said that they are willing to provide testimony at a public legislative committee. The CDC is searching for more Omicron infections after the new variant was detected for the first time in the U.S. yesterday. The patient recently visited South Africa and became ill after returning to California last week. Experts say it's still unclear if Omicron spreads more easily or is more vaccine resistant than other strains. A U.S. Navy Blue Angels plane made an emergency landing at the Dane County Regional Airport yesterday. It was uh, Tuesday. It was due to a reported hydraulic issue on board. An airport spokesperson says the F-18 landed and came to rest at the intersection of a couple of runways. One was closed for 35 minutes, the other for 45. A third runway stayed open the whole time, so there were no delays. No injuries reported either. Major League Baseball began a lockout at midnight overnight. It's the first time the league's collective bargaining agreement has expired in 26 years. Players and owners have appeared to be headed for this confrontation for more than two years now. One reason for the lockout is players are looking to expand the playoffs to at least 12 teams. 
Yesterday was the 33rd annual World AIDS Day. It comes 40 years after HIV was identified in the U.S. Members of UW Health's HIV Care and Prevention Program placed more than 800 individual red ribbons on Bascom Hill. Each one represents a person living with HIV in Dane County. Together they form into the shape of one large red ribbon, a global symbol for people living with the disease. The Pfizer and Moderna COVID vaccines are both highly effective, but new evidence suggests the Moderna's vaccine may have an edge. In the first head-to-head -head comparison, researchers studied health records of veterans who got the shots and found Moderna offered a 21% lower risk of infection and 41% lower risk of hospitalization. The study published in the New England Journal of Medicine focused on the initial alpha variant of the virus. Facebook is removing restrictions toward Kyle Rittenhouse. Facebook says users are no longer limited from searching about Rittenhouse or praising his actions. A court acquitted the teenager for all charges. A Facebook spokesperson, though, says the platform will still remove posts that applaud the killings that occurred. The Milwaukee County Transit System is honoring civil rights legend Rosa Parks for the sixth year. MCTS will keep a seat open on every bus through Friday. On December 1st, 1955, Parks was arrested in Alabama after refusing to give up her seat to a white man. Each reserved seat will include a red rose and a special placard that features Parks' photo and a message about her courageous act. Former Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey is wasting no time shaking up his other venture, Square. The digital payment company that owns Cash App and the music service Tidal will change its name now to Block. The new name signals an expansion into blockchain and other technologies that aim to help increase access to the economy. The Women's Tennis Association Chairman and CEO Steve Simon has announced an immediate suspension of all WTA tournaments in China, including Hong Kong. In a statement, Simon says the decision was based on the lack of transparency by Chinese officials following tennis player Peng Shao's allegation of sexual assault against a top government official. He says he remains unconvinced of her security. Well, this morning, Java Jolt is set to get even pricier. Coffee prices traded on commodities exchanging. The exchange has climbed to a 10-year high this week amid ongoing supply chain issues. On top of that, leading coffee producer Brazil has been grappling with a recurring drought and the effects of a cold snap that hurt some crops. Any rain showers that were over Wisconsin earlier, they have moved out of the picture. The reality is they showed up on radar. It didn't really make it towards the ground. So we are in store for a quiet day today. We'll see some of that cloud cover getting out of here in the meantime before that increases again overnight. We've now fallen to 48 degrees. We'll fall towards about 46, maybe even just a smidge lower before temperatures try to climb back towards 50 later into the afternoon. In Enjoy that because tomorrow we do not get out of the 40s, 30s on Saturday. We're tracking multiple chances for wintry weather in the seven days to follow Saturday. Make it a great day.